Petaluma city officials have signaled their desire to turn a dilapidated railroad trestle into a downtown river walk. As KPX 5's John Ramos reports, the effort to promote the project to the public has hit all the right notes. The old train trestle that runs along Petaluma's riverfront has seen better days, but there are some who think saving this relic from the past could give the city a brighter future. In the early 1900s, Petaluma was an important city because of the river. Its train trestle was the main shipping point to export the county's agricultural products and import goods from San Francisco. It was the FedEx of 1930. Overnight shipments could be delivered to San Francisco and been brought back the same day. Christopher Stevick is leading the charge to save the old trestle, which has fallen into disrepair. It is now fenced off from the public. But 20 years ago, it was still being used as a public gathering place for festivals on the river. This is the balcony to the river, and the river is the heart of our town. A 2013 study shows the structure is still basically strong, and putting a new surface on it could turn the old trestle into a riverfront promenade that could benefit local businesses. It will probably cost between five and ten million dollars, and promoters are excited that this may be the time for it to actually happen. We believe it can be done, and we are going to work diligently to get it done. And as luck would have it, they have a secret weapon. John Maher is known around town as Petaluma Pete, a piano-playing professional business promoter who visited the town 15 years ago and fell in love with it. I saw the trestle and I thought, you know what, I've been a promotion director all my life, it's time to bring on a cause and really make something make a difference for this town and the trestle became my obsession. Now he calls attention to the cause by playing free honky-tonk piano concerts at spots around town, delighting people and using the power of music to persuade. So it's making music as the tool so that we can open the door and the ears and the minds of people to what we want to talk about. But with any big dream come naysayers. It's time to just take a chainsaw to it, bring it down, not just dwell so much in the past forever. Byron Schneider says the money would be better spent on fixing potholes on Petaluma Boulevard. All I can say to that guy is that every town's got potholes, but this one's got a river. And a trestle that may one day serve as the city's link to its own history. In Petaluma, John Ramos, KPIX 5.